What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 tutorial, today we are continuing with the RPG tutorial series and in this episode we will create a very nice Niagara particle effect so when we level up. It's going to be a very easy build to follow so let's get started. Alright, so the first thing that we will need to do is of course create the Niagara particle effect from an emitter. Right now, if I, for example, open this chest, you can see that we level up and we have the sound and everything like that. But, you know, it would be nice some kind of particles around the character in 3D, right? So what we're going to do is go to the content browser, just right click and then go into a new Niagara system. And now we're going to go ahead and select the new system from selected emitters. Select next. And now as you can see, we have a bunch of different kind of templates that we can go ahead and select from. In this case, what we're going to do is select the directional burst. That is will be kind of a you know, uh, instant explosion, let's say, that will happen through a certain area. So let's go ahead and just click add, finish, and let's name this something as NS for Niagara system underscore, and then we can put something as level up. Let's go ahead and open this Niagara system up. As you can see, we have the viewport over there, which is just, you know, some particles appearing over there. So if we go to the initialized particle, we can see the lifetime, you know, and the sprite minimum and maximum, how big they are and the velocity and all that stuff. So I'm going to go quickly to the sprite render. As you can see, right now we have this uh, material applied. But if we go also to the scale color, as you can see, as, you know, time goes, the scale will be... Uh, less and less. There's also another one which if we go here, all right uh, It is uh, sorry. This is actually the color. So um, As you can see if I select here Increase this they never get small. Okay, uh, so the reason that it is called scale colors is because they call it like that But it's, it's actually changing the scale not the color. Okay, but if we go and just change the uh, color by speed we can do that but there's also a different color right which we can just change so if we just put this to something like um yeah yellowish right dark yellowish uh, we change the whole particle color because it has this sprite render material that you know allows us to mm, add this little um let's say you know node into it right and then the scale color is not color but scale okay so make sure to not be confused by that all right, so that's cool, um, but now let's go into the add velocity, and I'm going to change this a bit. As you can see in here, we have this cone angle, which is 50 right now, and so on, and the maximum velocity, the minimum, and so on. Uh, then also in the emitter uh, burst, we have the spawn count, right, how many we will have, and so on. Let's crank this up to 100. I'm going to go into gravity, and we are actually going to go ahead and use leave this at zero okay so gravity will kind of stay there i'm also gonna go and in the initialized particle velocity i'm gonna decrease this to 120 and 150 okay so it will be some very slow particles as you can see right now happening up there all right and we are starting to get something that we like a bit more okay and we can play around with all that right now also i think the duration is pretty good which is pretty nice okay and also uh you can change that on the uh, initialized particle for you know all the lifetime and all that stuff okay but that's really the important thing and right now of course we have this uh cone which will you know change here everything so as you can see right now the axis is on the x but actually we want to do it on the Z so we'll go upwards so I'm gonna put a one there and as you can see it's going upwards so if I now go also on save and drag this into the level you can kind of visualize it here so let's begin by just you know calling and spawning this level up Niagara system when we actually level up as you can see if you might remember if we go to the main blueprints folder and we open up the BPC player stats in here on the level and XP category for functions in the increase level as you can see here we are playing the level up animation and all that stuff so basically right over here we would also need to go ahead and you know um, you know spawn that Niagara system and it's what we're going to do now of course we will need to do that through our player blueprint because well we are spawning a component so what we're going to do is go ahead and just do a spawn Niagara system 
at location okay and actually we can do attached yeah we're gonna do attached so it will follow the player as it moves right then let's go ahead and just put ns and then we're gonna find our level up uh system that we have just created and then on the attached to component i'm gonna go and drag the player blueprint okay which we will have saved in a variable and then basically get the capsule collider and uh, actually let's get the mesh i think it's gonna be easier if we just grab the mesh so let's go get the mesh and then attach that to the component and then for now we will keep everything by default okay and we can use leave auto activate by default enable auto destroy and put the pulling method to auto release so it will kind of reuse the same particle uh, you know saving performance and with that we should be actually good to go and we should see the particles appear boom there we go on our mesh which looks pretty cool now of course they look like rubbish right now because they are being you know, very simple so the first thing that i am going to do is go and decrease a bit the um the alpha okay because it looks very bad if they're totally opaque now it looks a bit better also i'm gonna try to zoom in into the particle but it's gonna be very hard but you know at least okay yeah it's it's, <laughs> it's pretty hard to move around i don't know in that viewport but you get it yeah we also have the speed and so on so let's also go and increase the lifetime so instead of the minimum being 0.8 we're gonna put it at 1.8 and then the max 2.5 and now they will last for much longer and also it will help us to kind of uh, you know see how they look so if i open this up it looks a bit better right now uh, another thing i'm going to do is just go to the uh yeah initialize no i was sorry <laughs> and then in the cone i can go ahead and just increase the angle so maybe like 75 okay so they're a bit more open um and that's a bit much better and there's more things that we can do um there's also one for curl noise forest and we, we can add some kind of you know noise into it so if we go ahead and take this you will notice that they kind of move around um we don't need the pad noise the strength we can you know put this to be higher for example uh yes we can go ahead and just leave that at 10 okay uh and there we go and we can enable the debugging so we can see how it kind of looks uh so now you know we have slowly have improved this a bit it looks a bit uh, better it's nothing crazy um, i think that also i'm gonna try and change the alpha okay we actually have it here to be even a bit lower because right now you know it is too too opaque um the scales you can see right now is decreased by that we have this we have this we have this uh so cool all right so we're gonna go ahead and just play again and you're gonna see how this looks there we go so you can see now it is much better they're less opaque we have that curl noise happening which is pretty nice it's not very noticeable but it's pretty nice and that effect going on i think i started to like this i'm gonna leave the lifetime for a bit more so maybe like 2 and 2.7 or 2.2 and 2.8 i think that's a bit better and honestly with that i'm pretty happy i think that we have a pretty cool simple Niagara particle effect and now you know how to create one um, which we haven't really done in the series maybe we have done one or two but you know as if we have it's been a long time so as you can see that looks pretty nice so that's it guys if you found this video helpful i would really appreciate it you got that video and subscribe to my channel i have lots of unreal one to five videos and tutorials so check them out remember to have full access to the private files through patreon or youtube members so link in the description join my discord server to talk with me and to the devs and now yes with all that said bye bye <clears throat>